Hey YouTube, this is Justin here, aka Demonic Sweaters. Today I've got a fun project that I'm going to be doing, and that is ugh, sampling my Peisty 900 blue heavy ride cymbal and putting it inside of my TD-17 drum module. I really like a lot of the sounds inside of the TD-17, however it really doesn't have a good heavy ride sound in there. I actually like a good heavy beefy ride cymbal. This thing has an incredible ping and a really strong bell on it. And there's just really nothing like that at all inside of the TD-17, so I'm gonna put it in there. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow Demonic Sweaters on Spotify. There's a full band version of Demonic Sweaters, and uh, we're actually playing a show coming up here pretty soon if you live in the New York area. So uh, this video, you might end up seeing it after that already happened, but it's gonna be on October 20th of 2023. So check, I'll put the Eventbrite uh, page down below as well, and you can check that if you wanna go. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started on sampling this beast. Okay, so here's the setup. It's very simple. Uh, I just basically grabbed my ride stand off of my kit there and just threw this on here. I uh, didn't even bother with a top felt or anything like that. And I've just got a simple uh, MXL condenser mic up there. And uh, I'm just gonna hit it a few times. I'm gonna do the bow, the bell, and the edge. And uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, that should do it. Um, the one thing I really like about the color sound version of these 900s, especially on the heavy ones, is it kind of darkens them a bit. It makes them still very powerful and pingy, but it gives it kind of, instead of a, an overwhelming bright wash, it's more of a dark kind of complex wash to them, a drier sound. So the color sounds on the rides and hi-hats of the 900 series I actually really like. The crash is not as much. All right, now I've got the samples loaded up here inside of Audacity. I could have trimmed them in Reaper as well, but I just kind of like Audacity for this kind of job. It just makes it a little easier for, uh, you know, trimming and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and make these bigger. And first off, I'm just gonna zoom in so I can get, basically start the sample right at the beginning when I hit it. Otherwise it'll have like a lag when you're playing and it'll be weird. So make sure that when you're trimming your samples, you get right into the start of the sample. And I'm not gonna go all the way until the end of that, uh, you know, sample, because I think that's kind of ridiculous. Uh, so let's hear what this sounds like. And maybe I should go a little longer than that, but let's go like out to here. Maybe just a little bit longer. Yeah, I think that's good. And then I could fade that out too. Or, I don't know, maybe I should go longer. Because <laughs> it's kind of cool to hear the, the long symbol sustain. Let's make it a little longer. There we go, I think that's good. And let's go ahead and copy this. Control C for copy. And then I'm gonna add a new track, new stereo track. And go back. Hey, there's other ways to do this, but this is just how I'm going to do it right here. So let's go back here, paste that there, and then I'm going to solo this so we don't hear the other one. And now I'm going to fade out my end. So I'm just going to go to effect and then volume and compression. And, oh no, sorry, fading. And then fade out. And that should be good. So. Okay, now let's go ahead and highlight that, and then I'm going to go to export, export as wave. I oh, know, actually no, export selected audio, because if I do export as, as wave, it'll export that entire waveform up above in the first track. So I just want to do selected audio, and I'm going to go up to my folder where I am saving all of this stuff. So let's do 900 heavy bow one don't worry about all of that so make sure that your samples are uh, 41 uh, or 44 100 hertz or 44.1 kilohertz stereo samples 16-bit and uh, it should be good and also I'm gonna put these samples down below 
uh, a link to them so you guys can download them if you want to install them on yours you're welcome to them okay so i'm basically just going to repeat this process for all the other uh, parts of the symbol here i don't need to show you all of this and uh, we'll pick it up on the TD-17. All right, so rather than showing you guys a complete tutorial on how to import the samples into your module, I am going to recommend you to watch Luke's video from eDrum Workshop. He really does much better than I could possibly do to explain this, so just watch that video, and then it'll teach you all about how to import samples into the TD-17, as well as other Roland modules. And basically what I did is a fade to blend with the bright ride that is already in the TD-17, and I think the end result was very, very nice. And it's by far my favorite ride symbol I have in the TD-17 now. So that's really cool. Now, one thing to note, if you have the version two update installed on your TD-17, you will run out of sample memory very quickly because they added a lot of new samples and they used that internal sample, you know, user memory uh, to store the new samples on the version two. So overall, I think it came out really, really nice. So here we go. I'm gonna show you guys some samples of how it sounds. All right, I'm very happy with the results here. Uh, like I said, it's my favorite ride symbol in there now. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to follow Demonic Sweaters on Spotify. And if you're in the New York City area, we're playing on October 20th of 2023. Come down and check that out. Anyway, I'll see y'all next time. Have a great day. Later.